Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. My <laughs> god, that is a long title. <laughs> I am so excited for this film. Denise introduced me to The Hunger Games films uh, a few months ago and <laughs> I actually really, really enjoyed them. You actually read the books, right? Yes. Um, all but this one that we're about all to. All but this one. I remember we talked about if we should get a copy of the book mm. before we we're going to watch this, but I figure I do it the same way that you do. I'm just going to go in blind and just be overtaken by the awesomeness that the story is going to be. I already know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm very excited. I'm glad that they went back to, uh, you know, do another one, especially after seeing these movies so recently. I yeah. very much enjoyed them. I thought, you know, uh, it took me a while to... Uh, give it a shot. Honestly, when they were coming out, I, I just never thought it was going to be my thing. And then Denise just kept really like suggesting it and recommending. And she's like, yo, it's it's right up your alley. You know, it has some commentary. It has this and that. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things to dissect. And I was like, OK, fine, let's do it. You know, we had the channel at that point. And we were like, you know what? I'll watch it for the channel with you. And I ended up loving it. Like it started like a commitment. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, God, I got to watch this. And, and I ended up really, really enjoying it, especially Catching Fire in the last two. Oh, my God. Yeah. Great filmmaking. Really, really enjoyed it so i'm very excited to watch this i know you're really pumped dude i'm so freaking pumped i can't even tell you i i can't wait to see like what more that we're gonna be discovering about this world especially you know it's happened this is happening i think 64 years before Oh, wow. uh, the first movie. So it's going to be really interesting, man. Like, I can't wait to see which characters we get to see again. Mm. Obviously, uh, like I have a feeling it's going to be very juicy again on the commentary, but oh, I'm yeah. also really curious to get to know some of these characters more. You know, as someone who loves stories, there, there's I always look for an excuse to both tell stories, but also... When I'm experiencing stories, I'm like, okay, what's your excuse? Why do we have to watch this? So if mm -hmm. they give us a very, if they give us an interesting story and something that's worth telling and, mm -hmm. and something that maybe adds even more context to the original, that's what I love. When you thought you knew everything about the world, but then bam, they throw, you know, a few bombshells in there and you're like, holy shit, it recontextualized the entire story. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this with us. Thank you so much for all your support. Those of you who have signed up to our Patreon or become YouTube members, thank you so much, guys. If you want to catch the full-length reaction, that's going to be available on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching this with us. We hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie. Lions Gate! Lions Gate! Woo, 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 woo. Let's go! Love it already. <laughs> Great filmmaking. <laughs> wow. The way those <laughs> title cards slammed <laughs> right into frame. That yeah, was I know. beautiful. No? Yes, chef's kiss right there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. Before the Hunger Games. There's some food over here. Quick. Jesus. Wow. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah people just, are starving. The dogs are feral or rabid. Oh, they're oh, eating shit. each other. Yeah, this situation is bad. He's starving. Jesus Christ. Your father is dead. It was a rebel, a trap out in the forest in 12. Mm, District, District 12. 12. Damn, so already he's got beef with District 12. Clearly he's had history. Yeah, he already hated 12 to begin with. Yeah, and rebels. Tigress? Tigress. Tigress. Have you seen Tigress, my father's dress shirt? No. Who are you? I'm sorry, I know I'm late, but look, I did it. Oh, wow. Aww. It's really gorgeous. She looks so different back then. Wow. It's beautiful. Best cousin ever. The tesserae buttons I made from the bathroom tile. <laughs> oh, ah, I got you. I boiled them with the starch, and you should really eat something today. Save them for Grandma. Y'all are not about to make me like Coriolanus. <laughs> Such a good guy. I mean, come on. He leaves food for his grandma. We salute you. Just a moment. <laughs> he seems... Oh, the rose. Oh. What's the first thing you'll spend the prize money on? New dress? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to pay the rent. Wow. Damn, you can see even he struggled. Yeah. I had no idea. I always thought he was yeah. uh, born in a place of privilege and always had the money. So did I. Wow. That makes him way more complex. Oh, they brought the score back. Oh my God. 
Wow. Cook serves steak for breakfast. You have to throw half out. Shame on you, Corio. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that they're starving in the districts? Do they, do they not know he's uh, broke? I don't think they do, man. Playing it off like one of the cool kids. Yeah, he's talking about like drivers and cooks. I heard one more time how immoral these Hunger Games are. I'll put him in the arena myself. Wow. You made it to the reaping for once. And you made it to graduation for- <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> God damn. Yo. They do not like each other. Hey, listen. I know you have high hopes for this, but there is no prize today. What? What? Why? <laughs> She's great. Uh, I am honored to introduce to you the creator of the Hunger Games themselves. She's kind of creepy. Yeah. Hey. Peter Dinklage is awesome. He is so amazing. What a cast, man. Viola I Davis. Know. I am here to tell you that there has been a change this year. One final assignment to prove your worth. Of course. Uh, I see. Longer be determined by who has the best grades. Excuse me? But by who is the best mentor in the Hunger Games. Oh. oh. Anyone caught cheating to give their tributes an unfair advantage? <laughs> we'll just have no future at all. You'll get killed too. Yo. Got it. <laughs> okay. I so, wonder how they get a high score though, if they're judging multiple things. Right. It's not just about survival. Entertainment level, right? I guess. Girl, hilarious heavens be. Ten, boy, Demisha Wimsewick. It's so interesting seeing it from the mentor's perspective. Yeah. Rug girl, District 12. She belongs to Coriolanus Snow. Ooh. <sighs> Gonna have to make a star out of him, huh? Lucy Gray Baird. Damn, just knowing that you're about Same to die. Out of this one, Lucy Gray. Excuse me, Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Damn, Lucy Gray does not care. She's already more entertaining. I know. Ooh. Oh. It's enough. Leave it be. It's about putting on a show, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, look at her outfit. She's much more Nothing you can take from Singing, she out of her mind. Can't take my. I mean, they're all intrigued though. Yeah. Everybody's like, "This is different." They're watching. Yeah. Take my will. Capital says, "Keep rolling." Cause it's of course beautiful voice. You can't take my calling. You can kiss my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's got the spunk. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she does. That's exactly what that they need. That was a mic drop. I love her defiance too. It seems all too familiar. All too familiar, man. <laughs> She's mentally ill. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. You try living there in squalor. What are your plans after these games? I hope to go on to the university, sir. And if you fail to win the plinth prize, what then? We'd pay the tuition, of course. Look at you. Mm hmm. Your makeshift shirt and your too tight shoes. Oh, he can see right through him. Yeah. Imagine it was your name that they pulled and you had been ripped from your home. I just want to know that somebody still cared about me out here. Exactly. Right. Be a real friend. You might have more in common with her than you think. Wow. He's going to learn empathy. Yeah. Relate to her in some way. It's so messed up that they're making us uh, view this from his perspective. I know. It's so interesting, <laughs> though. So it's so funny because you see how history kind of repeats itself in a way. Biggest surprise for me is that he was not born from privilege. Yeah, I thought he was born rich as well. Or if they did, he they lost it along right. the way, oh, clearly. Yeah. The trains were not as fabulous back then, were they? They don't look glamorous at all. No. You look like you shouldn't be here. I shouldn't, but I'm your mentor. What does my mentor do besides bring me roses? I do my best to take care of you. Good luck with that, gorgeous. Yeah. He's gonna have to learn how to pull that yeah. power. Excuse me, I'd like to escort my troop. Hey! Oh no. Yeah, they're gonna try, of course. Uh, yeah, I would try too. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. You can't make snow likable. This is not guys. fair, guys. <laughs> not fair. What the hell? Oh, 
kill you right now. He'll do it too. Reaper killed a peacekeeper back in 11. Oh, uh, oh wow. Y'all got family back home? Kill them if you hurt him. Then you. Oh, she's right. smart. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is happening now? now? Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Oh, ow, ouch. The Capitol Zoo, where this year's tributes will be held here on display behind these bars. On display in a what? zoo? They're so despicable, man. Excuse me. Hello, sir. In the red. Who are you and why are you in there with them? We're live. They're fabulous presenters. <sighs> Own it. Are you all right? Yeah, she knows the game better than he does almost. Hello. Can they not hear me in there? Oh, they can hear you. <laughs> they hear you fine. They're just ignoring you. Hey, they're holding hands. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Holding hands, huh? Where'd you find that snake? Oh, he found me. Must have been a music lover. My singing calmed him right down. <laughs> <laughs> I like your dress too. That one, who might you be? <laughs> you, oh, you don't know who I am? Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you do need introductions, man. Well, the Covey love color. This dress was my mama, so it's extra special to me. Mm -hmm. And she's Aww. in District 12. Well, only her bones, darling. Only her pearly white bones. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. The game makers did tell you to jump in the cage with them. They didn't tell me not to. And I thought, well, if Lucy Gray is brave enough to be here, then why shouldn't I be too? Oh, they're eating up the scenery wow. here. Marketing at its finest. That's fascinating. I love their dynamic, though. The way they were playing up the parts already. Academy rules, Mr. Snow. Amongst them, endangering a capital student. What? Who? You. <laughs> I'm moving for the game makers to disqualify you as mentor. What? What? Oh, he really hates him. The tributes are human beings. Winning a war 10 years ago doesn't justify starving people's children, taking away their freedoms. Damn. Wow. Saying it how it he is. You're good at games. Maybe one day you'll be a game maker like me. Huh. Huh. Oh, they'll continue with performances like young Mr. Snows in that zoo? Yeah. She's not wrong. Hmm. Punishment can take myriad forms. Why not drop bombs, cancel food shipments, stage executions? Wow. Oh, wait. Asking ourselves whether or not they're right in the first place. You have a problem with my game? Some of those kids were two years old when the war ended. Oh, he's gonna get killed. I'm already calling it. If we need people to watch, we should be letting them get closer to the tributes before the games. Who will watch the games mm. if they care what happens to the tributes? Everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Even more so. Reality TV, baby. <laughs> yeah. We need them to invest. And if we bend a few capital laws, we could even have them place bets. <laughs> so Janice was like, that's not what I meant, bro. <laughs> I'd like you to write up a proposal of these thoughts tonight. Queer Lanus and I are class partners. We do all of our assignments together. Bitch, sit down. It was his idea. It'll be an interesting test. Viola is incredible. She is amazing. Oh my god. She actually has so much fun with the part and I love that. So he's already really good at understanding how to make the games interesting. Yeah, he has that instinct. Was that for us? Mm. Yep. Brought you some food. I'm not hungry. You think I can't hear your stomach growling, Jessup Biggs? <laughs> what happened to his neck? A bat butt. First night on the train. Oh, wow. He didn't sleep a wink the whole journey because he was keeping the bats off me so I would get some rest. Oh, oh this is gonna suck, man, when we start losing people. I already know. Yeah. I might have a chance to help you to make some suggestions to the game makers. I might even be able to get the audience to send you gifts in the arena. Oh, the sponsors, sponsors. right? The guards say you get money if you get more people to watch and you say you want to help me. Which is it? Both. Both. <laughs> Both. Yeah. yeah. At least he's honest. Yeah. It's not purely altruistic, but she's going to have to take it. Well, that's why he's, she can trust him. He's being honest. Yeah. Fully transparent. Thank you. That's why you're staring. Please. What a bizarre partnership, I man. Know. Oh, man. You seem like a good man, Coralina Snow. Uh, I wouldn't say good, but. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, shit. It's okay. It's okay. 
Hold on. Oh, no, yeah. she's done. Got stabbed in the neck with a bottle. Please. Oh, shit. Yeah. Snapped us back to reality, didn't they? Just like that. Not to be that person, but shouldn't have taunted her with a bottle. They already know desperation. Our president has decided that the games must go on. To which end, Dr. Gall wishes you to preview the arena this afternoon with your tributes. Can't wait to see the new arena. Oof. I'm so curious. I wonder how that's gonna be. What does he keep on drinking? Is that medication or like... Booze? Booze. <laughs> it's Reaper, right? Um, let me read you what... Oh, Jesus. Scared the shit out of me too? <laughs> uh, he's a big guy. <coughs> Both your parents gone? So you're an orphan. Like me. Damn, he's had it rough too. Yeah. I need you to sing in these interviews. Maybe a guitar could persuade me. Maybe. <laughs> you really want to take care of me in that arena, Coriolanus? Start by thinking I can actually win. So he came up with the sponsors thing, huh? Yeah. It's so interesting to see like the big beginning of those ideas that then got huge and made it into the games as we know them. What the hell is what that? The fuck is that? Jesus. Are those the monsters that she designs for the games? Uh, I, I think that's a very fair chance. Like the mutts that we see in the yeah. games later on. What the hell? Are those snakes? Eels? Which one of you actually wrote it? Well, there was I was inspired. By Coriolis. This? No. The, oh, the way I would throw her in that vat of you. <laughs> she already knows, though. Unfortunately, my assistant mistook it for trash this morning and lined the shelf of this very terrarium with it. So, please, Miss Dovecote. Oh, shit. What? So, if they're used to your scent, they've inhaled the sweat of your palm on a page. Oh. Oh, she's dead. She's so twisted, but you deserve it. Yeah. That's what you get for being despicable and a liar. Damn, she's really sticking to it? What an idiot. Ah! Ah! Oof. Will she die? The pleasure in breaking ground in one's research is one gets to find out. Damn, they don't even know. Now run along, you have an arena to promote, and it's time for my milk and crackers. Oh my god, Damn. she is great as a mad I scientist. Know. But you see, like, how everyone is expendable. He was just as much of a tool as he treated everyone else that ended up in the games themselves. Good point, yeah. They're all stepping stones to yeah. a system, cogs in a wheel. Yeah. That's why yeah. I, I even love that subtle commentary. Like, it's, it's, such in, it's engraved in the DNA to such yeah. extent that even those small details, like, yep, you're expendable too. No, uh, this is not good news. What is this gonna be? Bill, you stick by me, understand? Hey, Lumberjack. Amina. I know, just you. Are they already breaking off into groups? It looks like it, yeah. Sticking with the strongest. Mm -hmm. Just like we saw in the first movie, right? Yeah, and the second one too, where they started choosing who to group up with, with their mentors. Coralinus, please don't let me die in here tomorrow. Oh, oh shit! What the hell? Oh! God damn, dude! Oh, that's a great oh, what a shot. shot, dude! 360. Destruction galore. <sighs> oh. Holy shit, dude! They could have actually died! What is this? Oh, shit! Before the games even began? Oh, she's fine. Oh. Come on! He would have saved you! I wonder, would he? Oh. I wonder. Ah. Oh, no. What in the hell happened? I don't know. Was that intentional? Was it rebels? Is she 
She's alive. What happened? It was a rebel bombing. Rebels. They must have been planning it for months. Jesus, man. They're not still going ahead with the games. Damn, they're still going ahead? Lucy Gray could have run, but she saved me. And now our final tribute. Doesn't matter. They want the show, man. Yeah. How many tributes are left? Lucy Gray Baird. Come out here with that guitar, you songbird. Oh, she got the guitar? She did. Oh, is she gonna sing? When I was a babe, I fell down in the hall. When I was a girl. Donations, wow. 36 uh -huh. and going up. Wow. So who will you turn to tomorrow? I wonder when the bell. They're loving her. Yeah. Wow. They're watching. Wow. It's funny to see the difference between her and Katniss, right? She found her own voice yeah. to reach the audience, to reach the people, people's <laughs> hearts, to send the message. She already had showmanship, right? Katniss couldn't be a show woman. She had to be herself. Yeah. I love that contrast, though. They like the characters are so nice and different. It doesn't feel like we're watching the same story all over again. She's very different than Katniss. Yeah, she's yeah. still defiant, but in a, in her own way, and I really like that. I also love that the score is reminiscent of the Hunger Games, but still different on its own. So the moment you hear that bell ring, you ignore the weapons in the middle and you run. <laughs> I can't let you die. You saved me. A secret. It's becoming real. It's like Peta and Katniss. <laughs> it's happening. I am going to get you out of here. I promise. Oh, man, they're getting personal. Yeah. What's in here? Don't touch it. Don't even breathe it in because small amounts can be deadly. It's the rat poison, yeah. We all do things we're not proud of to survive. <sighs> what a line. <laughs> yep, he would know. We all do things we're not proud of to survive. We're going to win this together. This is not going to end well. No. Because the thing is, what's going to happen when the Capitol gets a hold of the fact that they actually care for each other? Right. That's my concern. The people in charge. Yeah. They the, are despicable. The audience will love it, but... Exactly. They're not going to be happy about it. I gotta, I gotta get my tools. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, everyone. Come on. Come on, let's go. It's going to start. The games will begin. In my hand, an envelope. <laughs> Sealed my prediction to be opened by me upon the big show's end. I wonder what his prediction was. Yeah. I also love his energy. It feels so reminiscent of the other hosts. Yes. I was going to say. <laughs> Stanley's freaking Tucci, man. They're so fabulous and big. Yeah. They take up the whole stage. Oh, no. That's her rule. I already know. <laughs> I already know. That little Don't baby. Don't do this to me, man. I already suffered this shit once. I know. <laughs> <laughs> feels like PTSD, man. Jesus. After Finnick, I'm like, I don't trust any of you guys. I'm oh, not, no. I'm not yeah, getting attached right. to anybody. Wait, what? Whoa. Guess we can all sleep better now knowing he's off the streets. What? Fuck. That's his friend. Oh. <sighs> Friend. It's done. She won't let him go. Oh, oh I love this one shot. I know, that's amazing. Ah. Oh. 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 They're getting it done quick. Come on, come on, come on. And she has no weapons. Girl, please. Oh. Oh. It's gonna get her killed. She needs a weapon. Grab Come something. Come on, grab it, grab it, grab it. Pull it out. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh the no. bite. That's why he's not all there. Yeah, he's getting sick. Come on. Damn. And, damn, and she has to take care of him? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Jessup. Uh. No, 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 no. Uh. Ow. Shit.
she hid under the rubble? I think so. Oh, poor kid, man. Yeah, they literally crucified him. She's gonna kill him? Yeah, mercy kill. <laughs> she did the right thing. Leaving him up there to yeah. suffer like that. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the parachute. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> The prototype? Well, that didn't work. It was a killing machine. What the hell? Who do you think makes that final decision for the prize you so covet, Mr. Snow? I will do everything in my power to ensure that you don't see a dime. What an this asshole. This guy. What is his beef with him, though? Why does he hate him so much, I wonder? What, what if it's something to do with his father? What if... Yeah, what did his father do to him? Yeah. <laughs> what have you done to it? I didn't do anything, Jessup. She needs medication for this guy, yeah. or else he's not gonna last. A bad bite? It's a gnarly infection, man. When he slapped the water out of her hand, I wonder if that's hydrophobia, as in rabies. Oh. Anyone sees us lose control of this arena, it might as well be sounding a horn to the districts to revolt. Mm, she knew. She knew. Way back. I'll freeze the feed for an hour. I estimate that's all we have until the people notice. Hmm. Jesus. Time to work together. Damn, dude, that's so rough, though. Like, you got to choose between doing the right thing and what you've worked for for possibly your entire life. His survival, too, you know, because they yeah. are starving. He's actually, yeah. you know, poor. Yeah. That's why he knew even though. Yeah, you're scared now. Imagine being actually in the games. He was way more involved than I suspected. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Are those arrows? Mm -hmm. Oh man! <laughs> wow! Thought they'd send my mom. Yeah, I wish they had. Gall cut the feed. Tribute's yeah. killing you in here. She's just gonna say you died of the flu. Yeah, don't die for nothing, man. Yeah. Spend your father's money. Do some real good. Or just be another dead body in Gall's war. Trust me. Yeah, he has a point. He understands how to utilize the little power they do have. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, come on, man. Knee. Are you serious? I don't want to hurt you. <sighs> yeah, well. oh. oh, right in the head. <sighs> I mean, he got sliced pretty badly. Shit. Come on, get up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, they're hunting them down. Come on, come on, come on! Ah. Oh. Watch the screens, gorgeous. Cause I may have missed you tonight, but your songbird's next on my list. Oh, oh you what be a kidding bitch! Me. Yeah, they know how to get to him. They hate these people. Yeah. My father. Let the buying begin. <sighs> you gotta use what you got, man. You can't judge yeah. yourself for it. Make a difference. Can't just feel sorry for yourself. There's ways he can help, like Snow said. What a fascinating story. I'm loving this so far. So interesting, man. What happened in there, that's humanity undressed. Fueled with the terror of becoming prey. See how quickly we become predators? Wow. Oh, what a line, man. Those tributes don't have a choice. I was talking about you. <laughs> Damn. You're kidding me. Eviction notice? They really need that plinth prize. I killed one of the tribute. It must have been awful. She's so sweet. I know you want to be like your father. What I remember the most about him was that in his eyes, it was just a hit. <laughs> wow. Damn. They killed the little good that there was in yeah. him once. That's the real tragedy. He lost that. He used to have a soul. They fucking killed it. Stripped him from that. That's... That's so tragic, man. Same seats. Mm, they're still okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think he has. He's got the rabies. Fever? I think so, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit, he does. Oh no. Let's see, what is he doing? Something's wrong. He he wouldn't turn on her like this. Just going after this. Oh no. Wait, look. The foam. I think it's rabies. Yeah. Yeah. That bite from that train. Yeah. Send him water. Rabies. It makes you afraid of water. Hydrophobia. Hydrophobia. Good call. <laughs> Jessup is done. This is you're the only one that can get it right to him. Shit. Oh, with the sponsor? Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh. I mean, there's no cure for that. No. If he would have survived, it would have been just worse, honestly. I'm not going anywhere. You watched over me, now I'm watching over you. Oh. <sighs> okay. This is not fair, man. This is not a good way to go. It's a horrible way to go. All because he was protecting her on that yeah. train so she could sleep. Yeah, you see, that's different. They learn to make sure to keep all of the tributes alive. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Stay right there. She's done. Come on, you need a weapon, girl. Oh, look at this. The pack doing what they do best. Packing it in. Lucy Gray swarmed. Can you send her a weapon? Pellering is net. Mr. Snow, going for this community pack. Oh, sending a bunch of water? Hey, Crow, do you mind if I take this one? Oh, here they come. Oh, shit. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Time to run. Smart. Oh. oh. Yeah, those Jesus. things make a punch. God damn. These drones are not very good. No, they're not. <laughs> no. They're <laughs> come on, Lucy. You got you got to do a little bit more than this, man. Okay, what's the plan here? Oh God. Do it now. Do what? Drink. Do what? Oh. Oh. Okay. And then just throw it at them. Or leave it behind so they drink it. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. So unfair, man. It's not even a fair fight. No. Such cowards. Two against one, like. Smart. She's just gonna leave the one bottle. Yeah. Ah. Come on. I'm rooting for you. Fuck. Ah. No. Oh, no. Damn. Yeah, they're ruthless, man. Yeah. Fall. Ending a tributes game. Do we not get that sign every time that one of the uh, tributes died? The sound of the cannon? I guess yeah. they didn't do that back then, huh? Yeah. Come on, girl, get out of there. Good job. Yeah, that's gonna stay. That's gonna leave a mark. Uh huh. You're useless. Oh, by the way, your haircut sucks. <laughs> Just say it through the door. Can you imagine? I wish we had a that's camera funny. inside of the duct, but we don't. But we will next year. Yeah, and in a few years after that, you're gonna have cameras everywhere. Trees. You really think you deserve that water now, Tanner? Oh boy, yeah. There, there it goes. The last bottle. Look, you just said, watch the beam. <laughs> oh, well. Jesus. Yeah, she does not, does not give a shit at all. Do not Coral. trust her. It's Wovey. No. They're really gonna go hunt hunt down the yeah. little kid? 
And who do we have here? Ah, it's no. Ildil. Tuberculosis on legs. Ildil. Oh my god. No, don't do this. Oh wow, the writers are assholes. <laughs> oh man. That's the thing, isn't it? That's it, yeah. It makes you do terrible things, even if you don't want to. No. Oh. Oh, shit. No. What happened? Do? At least it was quick. Oh, that's so heartbreaking, man. Shit, man, it was not meant for her. <sighs> That's so messed uh, up, so, dude. I'm so mad. Those other assholes, they were just there, man. They were just there. <sighs> wow. He's putting them all together. <laughs> oh, man. My heart. Some people. Yeah. Sometimes pain. Get that strength, man. Show them. You see how many have tried before Katniss? And that's what makes it so devastating, right? How many have fought against the capital. It wasn't in vain, though. Yeah. Like, Katniss had all the tools to get it done because of these people. Yeah. Is he gonna do what he thinks he's gonna do? <laughs> wow. Felix Ravenshill has this morning succumbed to his injuries. I will not allow my games to give our enemy such a victory. So what are you going to do instead? Yeah. A rainbow of destruction will engulf our arena. The snakes. If it means there's to be no victor in these games. The snakes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Give me a drink. Give me a drink right now. Yeah, get yeah. that drink? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a rough night. I didn't want the doctors asking questions. Come sit. Pull down your shirt. <laughs> Are those uh, mocking mocking jays? I think so. <laughs> the little Easter eggs. Here I know there. It's, it's amazing. Great. Man, I miss this world. Me too. We sent them out during the war to pick up rebel conversation. Jabber mm -hmm. jays. Yeah. To us, word for word. They use them in that arena, right? In uh, two, was it? Catch and fire. Yeah. A failed experiment, but an instructive one. Wow. <laughs> so she is responsible for all of those yeah. crazy things. Yeah, her experiments, essentially. The songbird Lucy Gray put on a wonderful show. Fuck. Oh, he missed his shot. He's clever, though. He... Yeah, he, I feel like he'll find a way. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, please. Oh, it's in there. Done. Okay. Damn, worst security guards ever. They're like I looking know. in the complete opposite <laughs> direction. Isn't it crazy to believe that like Snow fought this hard for someone from District 12? No wonder. Only to grow to hate them afterwards? How does that happen? That's what I want to know. I have a feeling we're about to find out, my love. <laughs> we're about to find out. I don't want to. Oh, the rat poison. Okay. Oh, it worked. What's wrong with Treach? Oh. Oof. Close. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Oh. oh. Yeah, you gotta get the hell out of there. Oh, shit. What the hell? All the yeah. oh, they're damn! Here. This holy shit! This quickly, dude. yeah. They wasted no yeah. time. <laughs> they really didn't. God damn! Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh no! Is it over? Can we go home now? Wolvie. Please no. No, Wolvie. 
they're gonna make us watch them. <gasps> uh... Oh wow, they're fast. Oh. Uh... Damn, he's not even moving. Wow, man. You brave, brave man. He was a man of honor. Wait, what do you mean, wait? Die. <laughs> Die a painful death. You were just about to kill her. It's not fair. I can't have killed them all for nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. The scientist chick, the experiment chick, she's gonna know it was snow. Yeah. Once she doesn't die. It's gonna lead right back to him. Yeah. She's won. It doesn't work that way, man. No. She's won. Let her out. Fred, that's not your call to make, Mr. Snow. Exactly. They want all of them to die, huh? Heading for heaven. And I've got one foot in the door. Well, she got to tame that one snake by singing, right? That's the story, right? That's I think story. that's gonna make her into a myth or a legend. A mm -hmm. tamer of snakes of sorts. Why aren't they attacking her? Must be the singing. It's calming them. I'll catch you up. Oh. In the old there. Oh my oh goodness. God. When nothing is left anymore. I couldn't, I wouldn't even be able to breathe, no. man, let alone sing. <laughs> I would have died from a heart attack already. <sighs> yeah. Wow, well, the music is great. When I've learned how to love. <laughs> what a rebel, man. Jeez. Dr. Gall, please, get her out. Come on, Dr. Gall. Have a heart, man. Get her out. <laughs> wow. What a plot twist, huh? The people within the Capitol are asking her to... Get her out. <laughs> She's won! Lucy Gray! Nice. <sighs> but you see how they control everything. She's been the winner for a few minutes now, and they hadn't announced a single thing to the public Nothing, yeah. until they gave the green light. But it also goes to show how powerful one correct rebel can be. These are wow. people in the capital, dude. They're supposed to be rooting for their death. But no, she fired them up too. Yeah, that's it. Oh. You are... Cheating will be punished. Lucy Gray, where is she? I would be more concerned with your own survival. Oh, no. And that old handkerchief. We found it in the snake tank. Yeah, he's got him. On all counts. Mm. Condemning you with your father's own initials. Yep. Yeah. Your family won't ever see that prize money now. <sighs> what an asshole. I hate him. Yeah. You hear that, boy? The sound of snow. Falling. <laughs> he does not like the snows. He really was not a big fan of him, was he? The peacekeeper. He made him a peacekeeper. Yeah. Send me to 12. He wanted to go to 12. Mm hmm How am I rooting for you, man? I huh? know. Tell me. How did you guys manage to do that? But once I found out where they were sending you, I couldn't get out fast enough. Barely made the train because of this stupid knee, but... Ah, uh, his knee is still messed up. Yeah. You know, when you came in, I was weighing the merits of suicide. When we're about to be free? Huh. When the girl you risked everything for might be waiting for you at the end of this trap. Your life has yeah. just begun. You're gonna do great. Yeah, you gotta live your life now, man. You guys are gonna break our hearts. Yeah. That this man, all out chance! Is guilty. So watch, all of you. This is what happens. Damn, what, what have they become, too? Yeah, you're no different. You're just contributing to the to the system in a different way. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that is creepy. Having the Jabber Jays just going yeah. around repeating his last words. If she had gotten through the crowd, I don't think I would have been able to shoot her. You need to find a way to make peace with our life here now. He's too good of a, of a man. Mm, yeah. He's got a good soul. He's He can't do it. And that's going to bite him in the ass. It so that's, is. Yeah. He's so going to get killed. Because even Snow can turn that part of his brain off. What the hell? There's nothing he can do. He's part of the system, like you said. 
Lucy Gray. Oh shit, okay. She's alive. There she is. Yeah, it gives them a sense of uh, life, right? Some normality, a yeah. little bit of dance. They still had that back then. Not anymore. Not by the time Katniss was around. So yeah. They're all standing thin without me. No? Oh, her ex. Yeah, fuck this guy. I swore you wouldn't play with them again, Billy Toke. Oh. Jesus, man. Hey, man. Yeah, Billy Tope is a fucking asshole. No, you miss me, Lucy. Put your hands off me right now. Get it. Oh. Wait, what? What the hell? Yeah. yeah. He's like. Get off the gun! What are you crazy? Come on, we got you yeah. He really likes her, huh? Yeah. Are you? Are you? Oh. No. No. Strange thing. Did happen here. No stranger would. Is that her song then? Or did she write this song? Or I heard Danny. He said he was glad that I survived you. He told you what I did to that boy in the arena. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, he really didn't. You are not a killer, Lucy Gray. Yes, I am. Unintentionally, but but yeah. You're safe. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> damn. Things are gonna get complicated. Yeah. You're back. Are you trying to help these people? I'm not about to throw away any chance I might have of getting home someday just because you feel a bit guilty. Oh. There it is. At least Snow tells it how it is, you know? Yeah. But, man. But you see how different they are. Oh, yeah. Like the seeds of President Snow are already there. I feel like it's so interesting to see how motive changes people, right? Those footmarks won. This is all gonna be taken away from them. It's way too nice and beautiful. Yeah. For a Hunger Games movie. <laughs> I've never seen those birds before. Oh no. Mocking jays, we call them. Oh, those are uh, mocking jays. I brought you something. It was my mother's. Oh, that's the one thing you brought with him. Take good care of it, I promise. You must miss your family so much out here. I worry about them all the time. Yeah, I wonder whatever happened to them. They're probably starving back home. Well, it's a little early yet, Mount Ivory. Pretty little thing, but it's determined. <laughs> Some people call it swamp potato. But... I think Katniss has a much nicer ring, don't you? Wow. That's Katniss's theme playing, too. Katniss. Wow. A bit early yet. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Trust is everything. It's everything to me. Without trust, you might as well be dead to me. Oh, boy. You can trust me. <sighs> and you know he means it. Man. It's probably the only person he trusts right now. Yeah. I'm going to reassign you to officer training in District 2. You'll earn a real wage. Oh, wow. Wow. Keep a clean record. You'll never see anyone from District 12 again. Shit. He's got to choose. That's your opportunity right there. Whatever it is you're doing, I saw you talking to that woman in the jail. You told me I couldn't make a difference. Oh, boy. You did say that. Yep. They need money for supplies. They told me I could go if I got it for them. Oh. You could come with us. You're giving money to the locals. The Jabber Jay. It's worth the risk to do the right thing. For you, your father will just buy your way out of it like he always does. While well, I'll yeah. be hung just for knowing you. He doesn't understand that he's putting snow in danger as well. Yeah. That's the thing. That's his skin. Well, he's got the, the recording. There you go. You got your proof. Yeah, he sent it to her. Wow. It's not just about himself. It's also about taking care of those that he cares about. The guy you said that nobody was going to get hurt. That hey. was part of the deal. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. My pa's going to string y'all up. No, she won't, Spruce. She's all talk, no action. Oh, she'll talk. Oh, uh, yeah. My old talk, no action. Hey, how'd you enjoy the capital, by the way? Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> You guys gotta get oh, her. Oh shit. <gasps> Yo. Damn. Snow is a man God of action. He yeah, just does. He... What did you just do? You and me were gonna be alright. No one's gonna think this was us. You reckon you just gonna walk out of here free? Yeah. Yeah. If I'm gonna swing for this, you swing with me. Oh. oh shit. You're gonna go back out on that stage and you're gonna sing. And I'm gonna find us a way out of this, okay? Ah, oh, things went south real quick. 
It was supposed to be like this. Nobody was supposed to get hurt. Come on, shut up. Oh, I... Naive. Oh my god. You have to pull it together. We're brothers. Those guns were the only loose end besides the four of us. Not a word. He is way too naive to yeah. trust those guys. The mayor's daughter got shot in her boyfriend too. He's sending out every grunt. We've got to find the guns that did it. Oh shit. <laughs> I hope you guys hit those guns well, uh, man. Oh man. Jesus, man. Some miracles snow made it as far, man. Yeah. He just keeps pushing his luck. They're turning the whole town upside down looking for these guns. The mayor's going to get me killed, Corlatus. I have to run. Just wanted to say goodbye. Oh, man. Well, that chick was going to talk, though. Yeah. As soon as they find that gun, they'll hang me, no matter which district I'm in. Tomorrow. Don't. Okay. Oh, wow. He was almost out. Yeah. For good. At the hanging tree. First light. He had made his choice Eden. to leave forever. Oh, oh my god. They got him. How the hell did they find him? The capital has received word via Jabba Jade that these two oh. men conspired to break into our basis jail. Yeah, they got the recording. <sighs> yeah, you did this. It's your fault, Snow. Going to execute Wait, just because Wait, she help. knows the man that no, they no, no, no. killed. It's ah! The price they've got to pay. Oh, man, that's chilling. It's haunting, man. The way they just circle, they just keep saying the same, the, their last words over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> he was making too much noise. They were both going to get killed. He did not need to record that with the Jabber J, though. He did yeah. not need to do that. Damn, he's going anyway. Yep, the freaking hanging oh. tree, man. Yeah, this story is literally the song. Yeah. The story that we've been yeah. seeing. Imagine what Snow must have felt when he heard Katniss sing this song. You know what I want, Miss? People. People aren't so bad. <laughs> I think there's natural goodness born into us all. You can either cross that line into evil. Hmm. hmm. Or not. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. Sure will be nice not to have to kill anyone else up north, though, huh? Three's enough for me. You killed three? Oh, shit. Person you killed, Coriolanus, he said you killed three people. I only know about two. Do not lie to me. Bobbin in the arena in Mayfair. And who's the third? He blames himself for Sejanus, doesn't he? My old self. I killed him so I could come with you. She doesn't trust him. No. Uh, we stop here at the cabin. I mean, they both sacrificed their entire lives just to survive. Yeah. Is that the guns? Those are the guns. Oh, sh did she stash them? Oh, God. He's going to kill her. What is it? Uh No more of sense. Besides me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. You're a loose end too. You wouldn't tell anyone? Of course not. They don't trust each other. No. I'm just gonna go dig up some catnips. It's still raining. Well, I'm not made out of sugar. Is she framing him? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Or they're all both just paranoid now. I wonder if that's the whole point here. Yeah, I think that's all there is to it, really. They're just so traumatized that everything is being kept under watch. Lucy Gray? She left him. Lucy Gray? She ran away. Hey, if something happened, because if something's happened, we can talk about it. Are you hiding from me? Oh, no. When did this turn sour? Yeah. It's her mother's, his mother's. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Whoa. Oh! Shit. Oh, that's the poison that's been killing him, right? All this time. That's why he had Yo. blisters in his mouth? Oh, that, this is it. Are you trying to kill me? After everything I've done for you. Oh, that sucks, man.
Why did she want to kill him though? I feel like she put every put two and two together. I think she figured out that he was the one with the whole Sir Janus situation. That's the third person. Yeah, because things were going well until then. Yeah. Oh. oh shit! Did he kill her? Was that her? I think so. Jesus. It's turning into a hunt. Prey and predator, right? Yeah. The doctor called it. <sighs> the tension. I know. Really think singing right now is a good idea? He's got a gun. <laughs> you would think she would try to be stealthy. <laughs> is she great? That's enough. Oh wow. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, he's going insane. Wow, man. She just disappeared on him like that. Yeah. Well, she was probably wondering. I mean, if he did that to his friend, yeah, what could he possibly do? He, you know, yeah. do to her. Especially because she noticed that their ideologies are different. Very much so. You know. Is that what the man was drinking? It seems like it. That's the, the little vials. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a change of plan, Private Snow. Oh, what's the change of plans? Let me guess. Congratulations, Mr. Snow. Oh. You've passed all my tests. You'll be studying under me now at the Capital University. Ha. <laughs> Wow. Quite impressive. Wow. Uh, you sent your only friend to the noose. That's not what I did. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. I don't buy that. People watched. And I have you to thank for that. He was right. Yeah. He knew exactly what to do. Let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? <laughs> now I know the whole world is an arena. <laughs> and we need the Hunger Games every year to remind us all who we truly are. Welcome home, Mr. Snow. Yeah, he won his game. Yeah. That was it. The whole world is an arena. Yeah, it really is. Like, her games for him, that that was his arena. Getting to this point. <laughs> wow, really? You still kept this stuff? I mean, he feels guilty as hell, of course. What do you think? I think... You look just like your father, Coriolanus. With hatred in your eyes. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Every bit of him. She knows, huh? I think so. You can feel what people change. Yeah. You can feel that shift. I was going to return this to his parents tonight. Would have been his 19th birthday. 19. The credit for the Hunger Games goes to your father. Half of it, at least. Oh, yeah? What? When I sobered up, I wanted it destroyed, but your father, he'd stolen it from me. That's why he hates him so much. I tried to stop them however I could, but then you came along. Now the blood of so many more generations will be on my hands. Damn, he tried to stop yeah, the games. he's been trying to stop them. <laughs> Look at you, heir to the plinth fortune, nothing in your way. Snow lands on top. Yeah. Which price you had to pay though? <sighs> at what cost, oh, yeah. man? Did you really win? Wow. Yeah, he's like Hamish. Hey, Right? Self-medicating, just so he can cope. For him, it was booze. For him, it's morphling. Man, he created a monster. He created something that's unstoppable. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> yep. <sighs> Damn. And so his reign begins. Yep. That's how he got there. It's the things we love most. Oh, destroy us. Indeed. Wow. Hey. Jesus. Oh, great score. It's an amazing score. So we will never know if she, uh... If she lived or died. It's a mystery, just like the song. Just like the song. As a fan of the books, what do you, what do you think of the story? <laughs> I'll start with... This. I loved how they managed to keep so many of the themes from the original 
trilogy, there were a lot of moments that were reminiscent yeah, of them. A right? lot of them. A lot of Easter eggs, echoes. little nods, echoes, yeah. Echoes of the future. Yeah. And our past, right? Almost chilling. Yeah. Like, you know, little things that foreshadow what's going to happen. Like the whole Katniss thing. The Katniss that thing. That hits different, man. She was like a little too early. It's a little you too know, a early. You know, a bit early. But stubborn. It uh, manages to rise still, right? Mm. It's a powerful plant and root, the Katniss. If only she knew. And it's it's, it's such a great foreshadowing because like the it, that that's exactly who Katniss was, right? Especially in representation to Snow after all those years when he thought he finally buried Lucy Gray, right? And in his head, you just see someone who was very reminiscent in her defiance because they're very two different leads Lucy and Katniss their motivations and the way they handle things too are very different Katniss she's a person that you know she's no BS she understands no. that she's not a person that's likable per se even though she <laughs> understands that she could use being likable yes. which is Peter's role right he's the one that's yeah. like hey dude you gotta you gotta listen to me <laughs> just follow my lead and we might just survive this and yeah you know everybody Hamish and, and Peter are trying to like Effie, let, and then yeah, they were all exactly. just like trying to find something that's likable about her yeah and it's so funny because we talked a lot when it comes to our commentary, both uh, in the original movies and also this one about the importance of showmanship. And it's so funny because it it, it goes in the arena. And even for Coriolanus Snow himself, it's it's all about showmanship. Everything like a lot of about him is pretend, right? He pretends to still be rich, to have a cook, to have a driver, to be so put together and ready to continue rising up the ranks. And... The same thing goes for Lucy. Like, she, you know, she's a singer. She's an artist. She's a performer. So to her, it just comes naturally. And it's funny. They they really tried to create that same showmanship in Katniss because you need it in the arena because you need sponsors. You need the help. Right. And this is where it happened. This is where the idea for sponsors came from. Yeah. That's crazy to me. And I wonder if uh, Plutarch also um, found inspiration in, in Lucy Gray herself, right, as a symbol. Uh, he understood because mm. he knew he was a strategist and he was a brilliant mind. I wonder, I mean, I'm sure they might delve into this in the book, so I can't wait to read that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I wonder if he, you know, because this is their history, right? So they would have mm. known about Lucy Gray and they would have known that, hey, this girl, she survived without putting up a fight, really. She yeah. survived just by becoming a symbol and singing yeah. her way through the games. And that's how <laughs> she became iconic, right? She yeah. became a victor. Yeah. So it, it's really interesting to see those parallels for sure. And I think uh, the way it was written is it's really well done. Yeah, I like that Snow, you know, he's not a monster, but there's a lot of qualities there that make him a snake the yeah. same way that Lucy Gray was taming other snakes. She was yeah. able to tame snow temporarily at least. Mm. And, uh, but you know, you can't beat your own nature, man. He's no. really smart. He understands, like you said, the appearances, he understands the game for him. It's mm. all about landing on top regardless of the cost. And that's what makes yeah. him such a bad fucking person is that <laughs> he doesn't care about who he buries no. in the snow. Right. He mm. just, as long as he's the one that prevails, that's all that matters. And I think this movie illustrated that even further because for half of the movie, you're like, man, what? How? Yeah, where, what happened? Where did it go wrong, right? <laughs> How did it go wrong? This guy seems likable. He seems like he has a soul. But mm -hmm. little by little, you see how he loses those pieces of himself that he wants to hold on to because he realizes that if you want real power, you can't hold on to those pieces of yourself. The doctor said it clear as day. She's like, hey, it's about true nature. It's about who we really are. And you can either be the prey or you can be the predator. And that's all there is to it. And of course, you know, we see here that Snow chooses to be the predator all, at all costs. That's very true. Remember how Lucy mentions that, you know, the, your entire life's work is, you know, committing yourself to the right side because there's that there's that invisible line in all of us. We all start off essentially good and you got to stay on the right side of that line. And I think... The entire movie was him slowly crossing that line here and there yeah. and eventually just blurring the line and then just hopping it onto once, the I other mean, side once entirely. Once he doomed his friend, that was it. There's no going back from that. Yeah. And I feel like him, I love scenes in movies where it's just the camera and the character because you get to see and understand the character in a much deeper, intimate way, right? It's not the same when you have a character crying in front of other people because... Then there's a motive there. There's a potential excuse where it's like, was he crying because there was people? Did he really mean it? Right. But when he's there alone in that room and he sees that photo of his friend and he's crying, yeah. you know he feels like shit because yeah. he realizes that that's it. There's no getting that back. He made 
that choice and that's it. You know what I mean? You can't take that back. No. And that's, you know, I can imagine, right, that the character is going through that realization that that cost might have been a bit too high mm-hmm. to pay, but it's done, you know? And I think the real cost for him came when he had that little slip up where he was like, yeah, I killed three people. Oh. I don't think he expected, because at least I think what was making it worth it for him is that at least he had a love. Right. Right. He had someone that he cared for, that he had feelings for. But she said it. If I can't trust you, you might as well be dead. She she called it. Mm. And Snow was keeping that secret from her. And she found out in the most arbitrary way possible. Yeah. Just, you know, he had a slip up and it's like, whoopsie. And there was just a weird energy in that cabin when he found the guns. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she knew she knew that he, yeah. she couldn't trust him. I mean, and we all knew. Yeah. We all felt that. I think the way that the movie and the story went about all that was very natural. Mm-hmm. It progressed in a very real way. He, you know, Snow doesn't act like your mustache twirling villain. <laughs> he's a real bad person. You know, he's written like how bad people act in the real right. world. They're not doing it because they, you know, enjoy doing bad things. They're doing it because it's convenient for them. Mm. to you know do these horrible things to keep the power not to get super political and like deep into the commentary but yeah you know powerful people sometimes have to do these horrible things in order to keep the power in this movie and the story Mm. itself illustrates that and i love that you know lucy gray was that thorn that you know and you know talking about roses you know it was always she was that thorn and he will never know if she survived most likely i hope that she did I hope but, so. But um, yeah, I wonder if that, you know, he he lost a lot that day. He lost, you know, during that short period of time, he lost his best friend, potentially the love of his life. He is mm. his only love, right? Presumably mm. he's got bitten and he's got a, you know, poison yeah. for life to show for, to show for it. Like you said, it, it makes the character more fascinating when you know the outcome, but you dread it. Like I, I felt so much dread as we were watching this because I was just because he felt he didn't feel like a bad person in the beginning. He felt like someone in an arena, right, trying to survive, trying to carve his own way so he could, you know, take care of himself, take care of his family. You saw that desperation that made him feel very human and not bad, not evil. But you also we started to see that he had this second bit of intelligence in him that was really good at calculating what people want and what they need and to look beyond everything and see how he can kind of take a situation and really work it out in his advantage. And that conniving side of him was always there. He found ways to make it work for himself. And then eventually, you know, he just started seeing that being conniving in that way is what helped him rise up the ranks even quicker. And it paid off. The older movies, I want to watch them again now just so I can yeah. take a look at his reaction. No, th- th- there's a lot there that now in hindsight, it recontextualizes Katniss's and Snow's relationship mm. in a way that makes you go, huh, it it wasn't all hatred. Mm. And it kind of recontextualizes all those weird moments where you were like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like those moments where you're like, this guy's so weird and just <laughs> icky. But now that we have the context, you know, he's probably conflicted. There's a lot mm. of emotions there where he's like, oh shit, this chick reminds me of Lucy Gray. Yeah. And that was the love of my life. And there has to be a bit of that tender, almost like, you know, in a weird twisted way, it's almost like he's seeing his what could have been his daughter, right? Like yeah. someone like that. I don't know. I, I feel like that would be my interpretation. If I was someone like Snow, it'd be like, fuck, this is like the ghost of Katniss feels like the ghost of his previous lover. Yeah. And it's actually funny that you say that because you know how he keeps questioning the relationship between Peta and Katniss. And it's almost like we keep hearing that, you know, she could live a thousand lifetimes and never be good enough for Peta. And it's funny that Snow notices this. He notices that she feels more disconnected from Peta than P does from her. Mm. And I think he sees Peta in himself. Mm. It's the it's the girl from District 12. That, that is the symbol that breaks this heart. I can already tell you, like, no matter how much he hates Lucy Gray, that all, kind of hatred only comes from love, right? From being betrayed, from feeling abandoned. And I feel like he's seeing Peta and Katniss that way. And the way Katniss is kind of off-putting towards Peta, I think he sees that. He sees his own love story in yeah, them in a way. it's a constant reminder. Yeah, just constantly. And then on top of everything, when she starts singing The Hanging Tree. Oh, that's like the biggest. 
Imagine. Fuck you. Yo. To snow. Yeah, absolutely. That's the biggest F bomb <gasps> oh, she could have yeah. dropped on him <laughs> for sure. But like, it's great now that, like I said, and I said this in the beginning, I foreshadowed myself. I love <laughs> stories like this that can recontextualize entire relationships in the story that mm -hmm. we thought were very clear cut. But there was always that loose end that was like, why is he so intrigued by her? Almost mm -hmm. amused, entertained. He's entertaining mm -hmm. her too much. Just kill her. Just mm -hmm. freaking kill her. But now you understand there was, there's a lot of complexities there. Uh, I can imagine is like, again, is like he sees Katniss and she behaves like Lucy did, but not in the, in the, not in the obvious way, not yeah. in just the, you know, cause clearly they're both very different people, but the rebellious mm -hmm. spark in them, you know, the, the wanting to rise above the oppression mm -hmm. and all of these things that Lucy had, he sees that in Katniss like that yeah you know he knows he feels it it's a feeling you get and it's like he's seeing history repeat itself right in front of him and this time Katniss has the tools to actually take down the Capitol. And there was a line in the movie that I thought was really interesting uh Dr. Uh, Viola Davis's character I can't remember her her name right now but she said yeah if people see you know the Capitol lose control of this arena Mm. that will basically make way for mayhem out there. And she was and, right. And she was absolutely right. Cause that's what Katniss is. <laughs> Katniss and Peter, right? That's what they do. They end up just collapsing the entire system because people see that there's, there's a way to shake the pillars. Right. Mm -hmm. And once people felt that that's when things started to collapse for the capital and all of the oppression they have, they had built throughout the years and the decades. So it was really interesting to see someone as smart as her, even though she was really twisted, she knew that the ultimate checkmate mm -hmm. was losing that arena or losing control of that arena or yeah. losing sight of the rules. What's interesting to me now that you, because you mentioned foreshadowing, I was actually just thinking of the first Hunger Games that we get to witness with Katniss, right? The 74th. And it's so funny that a lot of the moments that happened in the Hunger Games for Snow happened once again when he was watching Katniss. The Hunger Games that would change everything, that would bring about the downfall of the capital and of Snow. You know, you have a victor who carries the body somewhere and lines them up and covers them and pays respect to them. And a lot of other moments of defiance, like the, the I can't remember her name, the tribute, the one with the short hair, the one that was basically taking everybody down. Yeah. The moment where Lucy was on top and she was at the bottom and she was saying it can't all have been for nothing. I can't have killed them reminds all for nothing. You of that other of guy, Kato. right? Kato, yeah. It, it reminds it you reminded of that. me of that too. Yeah. Right? Similar. Like again, a lot of the echoes are so cleverly written in there. Yeah, yeah, it definitely reminded me of that. And you know what's funny? Even though, of course, this is a prequel, but Katniss's presence is like <laughs> everywhere. Her aura is like everywhere. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, it would make more sense if it was a sequel. I kind of right. wish. I know. Somehow we would get a sequel. I don't know exactly how you would do that. Maybe like a hundred years after Katniss Maybe. is sacrificed, they yeah. they end up in their old ways. I don't know if Suzanne would be interested in exploring that. I would. I would, I would go totally. 150 to 200 years in the future and be like, okay, 200 years after the Mockingjay, right? Yeah. What, uh, you know, the capital falls back into its old ways. Something yeah. happens, a war ensues, and then boom, you need the yeah. games again because there's so many, you know, the commentary is already great and the yeah. echoes in this movie just made it better. Remember that <laughs> one scene where the, it just kind of lingered on the arrows for yeah, a second. Yeah, I know. I in like, the arena. I'm like, ah. I miss her, man. Uh, I miss our girl Katniss. And it's so funny because like the the way that the rubble was kind of piled on top of each other really reminded me of the cornucopia in the first one. You know, like the, because the, it was kind of like sticking out and everything. And it, you're so right. It's the ghost of Katniss. She is, she is there. This is what led to her. Yeah. Happening. All of these little steps All is what these... allowed her to just get the momentum yeah. that we needed for the rebellion to actually, you know, spark Take off. up. Yeah. yeah, it's all the sacrifices, all the people who kept trying to be defined, all of them in their own way. Right. And it's it's funny that the person with the least amount of showmanship skills would be the one to really just blow up that spark that's one of the reasons why i really love katniss but i also really love that lucy gray is so different from that i really enjoyed she has this spark to her that you never really get with katniss right katniss you you feel with her you feel that she has that weight of all of the loss that she has experienced all of the grief and disappointment and fear plus all the shit that they have to go through in district 12 lucy she doesn't carry any of that she makes it look effortless which makes her such a diamond in the rough you know what i mean because like in a world like this how do you manage to stay happy yeah and stay pure 
Yeah, and she somehow managed to stay pure but still be smart, still be savvy. I love the contrast between these two because automatically when you get a Hunger Games movie, you're going to start comparing the Yeah, I mean, come on, you got a female leads, you know? lead, it's a female lead, it's, you know, rebellion. and Yeah. It, it could have very easily been a retelling of the same story and mm. they didn't go there which was really surprising for yeah. me. I thought the writing was very clever. I mean, yeah. obviously this is based on a book, so the credits really go to Suzanne yeah. doing another great job at bringing back the world and actually, you know, justifying it. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can kind of mess it up a little bit. You know, you yeah. bring back the world, the trilogy is done, you bring back the world and then you you screw it up. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's happened uh, to, for me, that's happened with a lot of comic book runs, for example. I'm like, yeah. it was perfect. Just leave them dead. No need to bring them yeah, back. And then, you know, comic books, sometimes they do that a lot. I'm, I'm more of a comic book reader than a novel reader or a graphic novel reader. And that, and that tends to happen a lot. So I'm glad that it she does. found a way to justify it and make it make sense. And then have this as a standalone story that enriches the entire world. I yeah. love that for, you know, a good story. And I love that she was able to really squeeze in, <laughs> uh, you know, a last few drops off of that fruit because uh, clearly it's worth it. We understand Snow a little bit more. He's yeah. still a piece still a piece of shit, but it's a horrible, horrible person. But at least we can kind of understand where he was coming from. Like, you know, we got to see that he was actually struggling to mm. just stay afloat and he had a family that he deeply cared about. Mm. Yeah. We got to see a few things that were a bit unexpected, I think from, yeah. from him as a character that make him a bit more complex, a little bit more, you know, he lives in that great area, which is always mm. great for a villain. Mm. And I feel like even in that last moment, he was always complex. Like the final scene that we have of him, you know, tied to that pillar, yeah. And laughing his ass off because, you know, uh, what's her, her face? Coin just <laughs> Coin. got, you know, impaled by an arrow, <laughs> essentially goes to show that he understands. He always knew that his time was limited. Yeah. And he just used everybody and everything around him just to stay in that position. Like I mentioned before, once he knew the gig was up, he he didn't surrender ever, which makes it. Uh, yeah. you know, know. It makes it like motherfucker. <laughs> he he just he died on that high hill, man. Like he yeah. made so many people suffer and he was, you know. And he, he still got what he and wanted. He got exactly taking what out he wanted. coin. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's what makes him so fucking great. That is yeah. that he's so smart that he's able to use even his enemies as pawns mm -hmm. for his own game. Mm -hmm. He is the game maker, really. He's yeah. the game master. He understands 100%. people at a deep uh, at a deeper level to the point that he can make the non-games. The Hunger Games, because he lived through it. Now it makes sense. He lived through being in the games without having to be in the games. It was a mentor. So literally. Yeah. No, nah, man, this this wow. film was fantastic. I think as, yeah. as a non, you know, fan of the books, because I haven't read the books yet, but I do like the story quite a bit. I thoroughly enjoyed exploring him as a character. Yeah. I think it was well worth our time. I love the performances from all the actors, the yeah. directing, cinematography, and the score returned. The, sc the score know. came back. I am <laughs> so happy it did. I got so emotional, man. The certain motifs by yeah. James Newton Howard that he just created, and especially when they talk about the Katniss plant, mm. and you see that haunting score. Unofficially, I think like Katniss's theme, and it just starts playing in the background. I just got goosebumps, man. Yeah, like, you know what's coming. Uh, the yeah. storm is brewing in the future. It is. A few years yeah. forward. If we burn, you burn with us, as Katniss once said. This was a great time, yeah. guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoy. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.